Maharshi University of Management is grateful today and greatly honored that our commencement speaker is Dr. Yuka, Yukio Hatoyama. <laughs> an outstanding leader of the Japanese people, former prime minister of his nation, and scion of a legendary family of Japanese leaders in both government and education. Thank you, President Dr. Morris. Your explanation of me is too good. Since arriving here in this beautiful campus, every moment has been enormously enjoyable and educational. We have had the chance to view the diverse range of technologies of consciousness that Maharishi Mahesh Yogi introduced to the world. Likewise, we both experienced and learned much from the very highly developed consciousness, advanced scientific and mathematical research in consciousness, and other achievements of the Maharishi during his lifetime. Especially, graduation hours ceremony of last night was fantastic. <laughs> we really enjoyed and were proud of being there with you all. Both myself and my wife, Miyuki, are extremely fond of transcendental meditation, due in great part to the wisdom of TM. We have managed to maintain an exceptionally happy home and family life over the years. We are deeply grateful for this wonderful gift. As I mentioned, serving as our personal instructor of Transcendental Meditation for many years has been Mr. Shizuo Suzuki. I am pleased to announce that Mr. Suzuki has taken the time to join us on this visit. Mr. Suzuki is a graduate of Maharishi University and thus a predecessor of those of you graduating from this suburb school here today. After graduating, Mr. Suzuki was determined to expand the knowledge and practice of transcendental meditation in Japan. He began efforts with the goal of teaching what he had learned and at one point visited our home to educate us on the discipline. Over a quarter of a century has passed since that day. Through Mr. Suzuki's introduction, furthermore, I had the honor of making the acquaintance of Dr. Deepak Chopra. After that, Dr. Chopra presented a wonderful lecture at a regular study group that I organized. In those days, besides my wife and myself, our family also consisted of our son, an elementary school student at that time. I had just been elected as a member of Japan's national diet. My electoral district was near Sapporo, in Japan's main northern island of Hokkaido, which is a considerable distance from Tokyo. Our son remained in Tokyo. I spent most of my time in the electoral district and my wife Miyuki made trips between those two locations. As a result, the three of us were unable to spend much time together, creating what I would describe as somewhat insecure circumstances. Looking back now, I truly believe that the ability of our family to maintain happy and harmonious lifestyle, despite the stress of living apart, 
was due to the teaching of transcendental meditation. It was our son, <laughs> it was our son, meanwhile, who particularly came to reflect the values of transcendental meditation. When he entered junior high school, he often stayed up late doing his studies. I once told him to go to sleep earlier. He replied, Dad, do you want me to be the only one to earn high scores at school? When I asked him what he meant, he explained that he was staying up late to prepare practice test questions for his classmates. At that point, I realized I realized he had already grown up to become a young man who refused to be satisfied if only he himself was happy. He felt joy, in other words, when those around him were happy as well. For myself, I'm I'm also deeply grateful to my wife, Miyuki. Without her support, I would have never been able to serve as a politician. In fact, I feel that Miyuki has a special ability or a gift to help bring others happiness. In this regard, I'm deeply grateful to the wisdom of transcendental meditation in helping both my son and my wife develop as caring human beings. As for me, I'm always so happy because I keep this card of photograph of Maharishi Mahesh Yogi with me for 26 years. I feel like I am always with him. Having benefited so much from this magnificent bond with transcendental meditation, it is a particular honor for us to receive this opportunity to come to the Maharishi University of Management. I can also say that this visit has further strengthened my sense of awareness and familiarity with the wonders of transcendental meditation. I feel even more determined, in fact, to draw from the peace and happiness that my own family has experienced from this discipline to contribute to peace and happiness for the world. In fact, I pledge to do everything in my power to move in that direction. <clears throat> 